The struggle is rarely the same. Patients recovering from strokes complain of a wide variety of symptoms. Among them, anxiety and depression. Now, as Sean McDowell reports, a Metro author is hoping to help others with her own story. The summer of 2017 left its impact on Overland Park's Angie Reed. She was a healthy professional and a mother who suffered a serious stroke at age 46. Reed says the stroke didn't leave many physical scars, but the mental health crises it left her with have been torture. Reed, who has written a series of books about her recovery, cites research that claims a third of stroke survivors experience anxiety and depression. Now she works as a life coach with patients trying to put their strokes behind them. I couldn't get out of bed and get up and go to work. Reed says it took a year of working with various doctors and prescriptions to get her mental health under control. She says her condition worsened to the point she considered ending her own life. St. Luke's provided some of these images for Fox 4 News. I felt absolutely alone when I was going through this because I had nobody who knew anything about it. Even my psychiatrist had never heard of of these things from a stroke. Sutter Health says 15% of stroke patients are now age 45 or younger. The Mayo Clinic recommends calling for immediate help if you experience these symptoms, a drooping face on one side, one arm you can't raise, or both, speech that sounds slurred or different. Doctors say that's the urgent time to call for help. St. Luke's psychologist Katie Harry tells Fox 4 News some patients aren't aware of help that's available. The hope is that your neurologist is asking about your mood and coping strategies and connecting you with resources specific to stroke survivors. Reed and Dr. Harry agree recovering from a stroke and seeking mental health care might actually be tougher for females since traditionally they're known as caregivers and it might be tougher for them to ask for help in their circumstances. Sean McDowell, Fox 4, working for you.